everybody is set for this matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons here at the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims at a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten I'm going to take on a big challenger. You know, there's so many good teams in the NFL right now, but I'll tell you this. The team they're going against, they can't wait to get out there and beat them and put that first blemish on their record. What's the word from down by the benches? Danielle Bellini has the latest. Thanks, Jim. I spoke with the Falcons coach this week. He told me his guys have really bought into the system, and that is the biggest reason for their five-game winning streak. He says if even one player doesn't buy in, it can derail the whole team. And he seemed to have really high hopes for his team going forward this season. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Smartly takes the knee in the end zone. Here comes the former Kansas State quarterback, Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman, one of those guys. We know he's a good thrower, but if you force him to, he has the speed and the size to run the football and get some yards for you. Martin is in the backfield. Will go Brown. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers offense. They don't scare anyone when it comes to their running attack. The Buccaneers at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Second down and eight. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They're going to get him this time. Here's how the Falcons defense. This is a tenacious front seven that has done a great job against the run this season. Williams, a receiver in the slot. Second and 11. such a smart linebacker that's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time he diagnosed the play he saw what it was going to be got himself in position and he made it happen third and 11. he'll fire it out to the left and intercepted tackles made and davis is heading out now he'll of course be leading this offense today Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Now first and 10. They pounce on him there. Here's our look at the Falcons' offensive lineup. One of the strengths of this offense, its ability this year to convert on third down. One of the best in the league. And as always, the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Order now at PapaJohns.com. And here's the Buccaneers' defensive lineup. They have been very strong this year against opposing quarterbacks as a team ranking fourth in pass defense. Third and nine. Brings it into his body. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down, offense readying for the snap. Should have had it. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Let's roll. Let's roll. Second and ten. Looking long to Julio Jones. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone, and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Offense lines up here, out of the gun. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage, 
It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. No good. An empty trip for the offense. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Martin's got it on the handoff. After being stopped at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. Martin. And again, there's nowhere to run. Maybe a yard. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive. So you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served the purpose. Third down and eight. Ball is out. The defense has the football. He's in the clear. Going to take it home for the touchdown. What a play. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long. Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. He'll kneel here. No reason to try his luck on the return. So the offense off the touchback will begin at the 20. First down on the way. Martin's handed the football. That leads us to second down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Under pressure and incomplete. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. It's third and nine. He'll throw it over the middle. Ball's picked off. by the defense and not only that look at that return they intercept the ball on one side of the field make a long interception return for a touchdown that's how you win football games on the defensive side better judgment says take a knee Come to the line, and it's first down. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. Going to lose yards here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Martin's lined up as the single back. Second and 12. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin to the 35. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards. Get that first down. Well, Coach Greg Schiano on that sideline for Tampa. He's a coach you're familiar with back from his college days. You spent a lot of time around him when he was at Rutgers. 
shoot. And Greg Schiano was running around in the neighborhood when I was playing for the Giants, and he was just a little high school kid at the time. So, wow, what a career he has had, just moving his way up through the ranks. Uh, I think what you saw last year from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is Greg Schiano, a person who never gives up. He's tough and just wants to out-hustle the team he's playing. Seemed like, too, that the, the Buccaneers really respond to their head coach. Yeah, they did. You know, a lot of times the team is going to take on the personality of their head coach, and, and the Buccaneers definitely did. Now, a little more talent, a second year with the same system and the same head coach. We'll see where it takes them. He'll decline the penalty the and let the play stand. The punter awaits the snap. Three, three. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The Falcons get a first down. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. Davis standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Escaping the pressure on the money. Well, you got to do that now in this NFL. When you're in trouble in the pocket, you got to be able to run out there and find a way to complete a pass, and he did that time. First down, following the long play. I that left side. Forgot to catch the football. <laughs> After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Escaping the pressure, throwing now to his left. That pass play picks up a first down. Ball's on the ground. They recover their own fumble. Just when you thought they may have a costly turnover, they're able to somehow recover the football. You know, Jim, you know what happens to guys on offense when they fumble the football? You know where they go? To the bench. That's where this man is going. You fumble it, you're in trouble, you take him out of the game. Well, these are the kind of throws that he... You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. In trouble now. The throw to the left. The ball's deflected incomplete. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. you got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a corner route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. From the gun. That was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The point after try is in the books. The Buccaneers cannot come up with any answers here before halftime. And now they await the kickoff. Perhaps they can put some points on the board before the intermission. The scores, 21 to 0. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Williams in the slot. First and 10, Doug Martin. They break through, tackle them behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. 
Split backfield here. Second and 12. Handoff. And he'll go to the left. So that's going to do it for this first half. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. Hey, guys, I get a chance to quickly speak with Akeem Dent during halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. First down, it's handed to the running back, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Coming up, second down. Play fake here. Gets away from the pressure. Got a big lane. Nice tackle. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and 10. Jackson's going to take the handoff now. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. Looking long to Julio Jones. Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. Fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Hits the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. The Buccaneers now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 28 to 0. They'll take it at the 20. The Buccaneers come to the line with five wideouts and no one in the backfield. To Williams, right where it had to be. Unstoppable. The 30 to the 25. Awesome job by the defense. That time they were really surprised by the play call. The receiver gets behind the defense, but the speed of the defensive back able to make up those yards and tackles him from behind. First and 10. From the eye, they give it to the deep back. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Trying to work that left side. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give Let's up go. the field goal try? Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. Jackson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First down and 10. Doug Martin carries the football. Picks up about two. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. After the two yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. To Williams. The defense doubled up on that one. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver, so it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. Third down now. Let's go. Three, three, three. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. 
they knock him down and he's still two yards short of the first. I think the big decision is now, Jim, do you kick the football, take the three points, or do you go for it on fourth down? To me, you kick the football and get three points on the board. Flag is out. The field goal try, yes, sir. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Throws to the right. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Second and goal from the two. Looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown, and that'll close the gap in this one. There's a nice touchdown there, and you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? If you hear the word choke, yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. is down. He stacked up at that point. That ball did not travel 10 yards on the onside kick, which is why the flag came out. Yeah, it, it, it took a funny bounce. They were really unlucky that time. It was They caught him by surprise, but the fact that it took that little uh, crazy hop kept it from going 10 yards. The Falcons come out in a two tight end set. The final quarter underway now with this snap. They bring him to the turf. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Jackson's delayed start, now taken off on the draw play. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Offense lines up here. Second down, three for the first. Gets it again here. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Davis turning to look downfield now after touchdown Falcons. Well, the offensive line did it all in this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first to go. Nice job of pass blocking. And the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. Let's roll! Let's roll! They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. So they get the touchdown. But they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Martin's lined up in a single back formation. Martin. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Now you know why guys like Vince Wilfork are so important to the middle of defenses. You need a big run stopper to stop these runs right up the middle. You either, you either need a big run stopper or some really big linebackers to stop those runs up inside. 
play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. Josh Freeman will take the snap out of the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The pass balls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Jackson's in the backfield, single back set. Slashes to the left side. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second down here after that run play. Davis sells the play fake and looks downfield. There's a receiver there, and the catch is made. Again, the offensive coordinator's done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Staying with the passing game on first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets a completion. Goal line defense on the field. Middle. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Fumble. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Inside the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do. The play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. You're not afraid to bet, to say they made mistakes and turn them around. So many things to think about in a situation like this. You score, you're going to ice the game, it's probably over, but make sure the two things. Don't have a penalty, keep two hands on the football, and don't fumble. Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. It's now fourth and goal. Another touchdown to increase the lead. 